We're all looking forward to watching India versus Australia, aren't we? And yet, in the face of it, it's world number five versus world number seven. So, is there anything to play for? Yes, and lots. India number one in ODIs, India number one in Test match cricket. If they have a great series against Australia, follow it up with some very good T20 games against New Zealand. Who knows? Can India get to number one? Can we dream of India being number one in Test, number one in ODIs, number one in T20s? Well, if that's not a big reason to look forward to these T20s, then nothing is. Let's look at the side then that India have picked. Let's focus on two that are not there and two that are. Ajinkya Rahane is not there, but Shikhar Dhawan is back. He had to be in the side. Rohit Sharma is in the side. You need, if you need Lokesh Rahul can play. He's got a T20 century. There's no point in wasting Ajinkya Rahane's time just hanging around the side. He might go home, spend some time with the family, work on his fitness and come back ready to play the rest of the games. No Rishabh Pant either. And I think the selectors have been influenced by what they saw in that one-off game in, in the West Indies when he really struggled to get the ball off the square. Maybe they think he needs a little more time in a more responsible role in the, in the India A side. So maybe that they're just a little wait and see with Rishabh Pant. No Yuvrat Singh. Now, I genuinely believe when you're talking to a player of Yuvrat Singh's stature, if he had to be picked, he'd have been picked by now. So I don't know what the selectors are thinking there. But as I said, if he had to be picked, he'd have been picked by now. I'm also hearing from newspaper reports that Suresh Raina has failed a fitness test. If that's what it is, then that's what it is and there's nothing you can do about it. But I have a lot of time for Raina, the player, and I still genuinely do not believe that the door is shut on his kind of player. He gets fitter, he's as usual good in the field, then I think there is still room for Suresh Raina in this side. Now the two players that are in. Dinesh Karthik has done everything asked of him, scored more runs than anybody else in limited overs cricket. When he was picked, scored runs for India. But more than anything else, the selectors are saying, look, if you continue to do well in domestic cricket, we will pick you. This is not just a message to Dinesh Karthik, it's a message to everybody else. That's why I like this selection. And that leaves Nehraji. I saw Nehraji in 2008. And I thought he was coming to the end. Then he played the 2011 World Cup and we thought, yeah, maybe that's it for Ashish Nehra. Then surgery and play, then surgery and play. Nobody has gone through that more than Ashish Nehra. And dare I say, very, very few have a bigger heart than Ashish Nehra. And there he is, still playing. Started in 1999. What a story that is in international cricket. He's not been picked on sentiment. He's been picked on performance. Was in the side when India played against England in the ODIs. But if I was a young bowler, if I was Basil Thampi, if I was Mohammad Siraj, why if I was Umesh Yadav, why if I was Mohammad Shami, I would look at Ashish Nehra's selection and say, I need to be there. What more do I need to do? I need to have a heart as big as Nehra. I need to stay fit. And I think this might just spur on the younger generation of Indian fast bowlers. So there you are, India versus Australia, five versus seven, but much more than that.